Hello, so this is going to be a, a tutorial which is going to run through building a basic platformer in Stencil. Oh dear, that's badly written. Uh, we're going to build a platformer with a kind of basic trigger system built into it in which you know a character is going to walk along a section of the level and get squashed by a giant set of crushers, um, which I'll just quickly show you. Uh, just to give you an idea of what we're going to be making. Um, so I'm just putting this full screen. It consists of a little character which you might recognize from a previous tutorial, uh, tutorial we've done. She's just going to wander around. And then upon climbing down this little section here, it's going to trigger some crushes that are going to squash the character. Uh, so from, as you can see from that, the doors, you push the button, the doors close on the sides so, so there's no escape. And then the doors up top open and bring down these little kind of squashing uh, crushes down on the player. Um, and yeah, and then it re re loops back around to the start after scattering little giblets of the character all over the place. Um, so uh, we're going to build that. Um, with the this, I've provided the resources for it. Um, but you can make your own if you like. It's up to you. Uh, and as with the the other tutorials that I I do, uh, I suggest that you speed them up just a little bit by 0.5 of a second, uh, and that'll make listening to my voice a little bit more bearable and shorter. Um, but yeah, we'll cover a, a series of elements in this. Uh, and once again, uh, keep in mind that this is made on a Mac, so shortcuts might be different, and I will try to uh, compensate for that when doing the tutorial. So, uh, yep, hope you enjoy it.